Today we are going to be talking about the Enlightenment. Now in order to understand the Enlightenment, you have to go back to the time before even the Enlightenment. Back before the Enlightenment, during a period known as the Medieval Period, the Medieval Period, people thought that the Earth was the center of the universe. And as you worked your way out further and further, you would get closer and closer to God, until in the very outermost layer of the universe lived God. God controlled everything, and he lived basically on top of the world, and he would give good things to people if people would in return serve him. This is what the Jews and the Christians believed for many years. It was known as a covenant between God and people. If God gives good things such as land and big families and whatnot, and the people return by serving God and giving him what he wants, then they have a covenant or an agreement or a deal between the two of them. And God in return would tell them everything they ever needed to know about the world. However, during the Enlightenment, people started using something known as reason. Reason started to ask the question, and reason basically is when you look at something and you're able to make an assumption about it. For instance, people began to think maybe God doesn't have to tell us everything. Instead, they thought maybe we could learn by natural law. If they could figure things out naturally, and if they could use reason and common sense, maybe they could create their own natural laws. Natural laws are things that you can see by thinking and observing events. For instance, let's say you see someone trip and fall. You might assume that they are clumsy. Or maybe you see someone crying. You might assume that they are upset. By thinking and observing events, we can understand the laws of the universe. For instance, when someone jumps off a, off a plane or if someone jumps from a high place, they will always fall down. This is known as the law of gravity. That is what is known as a natural law. You looked at the world, you observed an event such as someone falling, and you began to understand the laws of the universe. This is natural law, and during the Enlightenment, people really started to use it. Any time before this, before they used natural law, would have been known as a pre-enlightenment model. Pre means before, so this is bef the before enlightenment model, the covenant model, so to speak. The covenant model relies heavily on a relationship between God and its people. It relies heavily on religion. The post-Enlightenment model, or the model after the Enlightenment, was known as modern science, where people observe things and they make predictions about the world. There were many philosophers, and if you remember, philosophers are people who love wisdom, who started to think about this idea. One such person that thought about this idea was named Thomas Hobbes. Thomas Hobbes used natural law to think about the world. He looked at the world around him, and he, and he noticed he observed the world and thought that people were mostly cruel and mean. He might have been picked on a lot. We don't know exactly why he thought this way, but he thought most people were, were cruel and mean. One of the reasons Thomas Hobbes may have thought people were so cruel and mean is that he saw a lot of civil war in his time period. He saw a lot of war, and so maybe he thought people were selfish and just wanted to kill each other. As a result, Hobbes thought that people should be ruled by dictators. He thought that if common people and people, just any average person, tried to become a leader, he thought that people, if they were left to their own devices, would create mobs and riots and there would be no law. It would just be basically anarchy. However, not everyone thought like Hobbes did. There was another man named John Locke. John Locke also used natural law. He looked at the world around him and made some decisions. The first thing that he noticed was that he thought people were basically good and moral. As a result, he thought that since people were good and moral, they had something known as natural rights. John Locke was one of the first people to talk about natural rights, and it's something that we take very seriously in America. Natural rights include things like life, liberty, and property. If you notice, Thomas Jefferson stole these ideas of natural rights, the life, liberty, and he changed property to the pursuit of happiness. So instead of saying life, liberty, and property, Thomas Jefferson said life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and he thought that we were all entitled to it. So you can see that our founding fathers of America borrowed heavily from people like John Locke. The last person we're going to talk about is a person by the name of Montesquieu. And Montesquieu believed... Montesquieu did not trust the government and believed it should be split up so that one person did not hold too much power. So he didn't want just one dictator ruling the world. Instead, he thought maybe we should have a president and a president would rule the people and then maybe we should have judges and then the, the judges would judge the people. In this case, the president would not do the judging. If someone was guilty of a crime, the dictator could not make his sentence. 
Instead, Montesquieu thought that, that there should be separate people who do the judging and separate people who do the ruling so that they don't get intertwined and corrupted. Finally, Montesquieu thought there should be a legislature. A legislature are people who make the laws. So all three of these powers would be separate. There would be one, one person who would rule the people. There would be one person who would judge the people. And there would be another group of people who would make the laws. This way, no one person would hold too much power. This would later become known as checks and balances. So just to review, a long, long, long time ago, people thought that the Earth was at the center of the universe and that there was a covenant between God and people in the pre-Enlightenment model, which moved on to the Enlightenment of modern science reason, natural law. People thought maybe God doesn't have to tell us everything, which led us to Hobbes, Locke, and Montesquieu. Hobbes thought people should be ruled by dictators because they can't be trusted. Locke, on the other hand, thought that we had natural rights such as life, liberty, and property. So instead of being like Hobbes, who said that we should be ruled by dictators, he thought that we had natural rights and that we should create our own governments. And finally, Montesquieu created the idea of the separation of powers where presidents, judges, and legislatures should all rule separately and not together, and that is a brief introduction to the Enlightenment.